Welcome to Finding Sacred Spaces. Hello, I'm George. And I'm Sue. And today we're visiting Our Lady of the Sierra Shrine in Hereford, Arizona. We are at Our Lady of the Sierra Shrine, located just off State Highway 92 on South Twin Oaks Road via East Ash Canyon Road. The first thing you'll notice is a 75-foot Celtic cross with a 31-foot statue of Our Lady pointing to the cross of her son. The cross itself has a crown of thorns surrounding the cup and host at its center with the Latin word vita, meaning life, at its four ends. The 14 stations of the cross starts at the lower parking lot and ends at the top, about 200 yards above the shrine. The station's walk is a quarter of a mile up the side of the shrine's foothills, and each station has a resting spot for quiet reflection or prayer. Our Lady of Guadalupe Grotto is at the halfway mark of the stations, just to the left of the upper parking lot. As you move on around the chapel, you are greeted by the Celtic cross and the Marian statue. An angel of revelation urges you to continue the final seven stations of the cross. The 14th station is in the form of a rocky tomb where pilgrims often leave flowers and adornments. Just past the tomb is another grotto that features a crucifix with a cross made of quartz. The story behind the shrine is one of following our Lord and embracing the cross along the way while receiving many graces and blessings. After years of struggles with some of the community and beyond opposing the shrine, it was finally opened in 1998. The monument fire of 2011 ravaged the area consuming all the buildings but left the cross and Mary intact. From 2012 to 2014, volunteers came together to reconstruct and restore the original shrine structures. Embedded in the base of the cross is a replica of the crown of thorns from the Jerusalem area and sanctified in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The chapel entrance is at the front of the cross and has the Blessed Sacrament in the tabernacle for adoration. Just outside the chapel to the right is the Angel of Consolation Garden for the healing of those involved in an abortion.
As you leave the chapel area and look back, you are left with a view of Our Lady, as always, pointing to her son. This is a real spiritual gem. If you are ever in the area visiting Bisbee or Tombstone, carve out some time to stop by and receive the spiritual graces offered at this sacred space.